the most amazing bags from Paris Fashion Week Spring Summer 25. Welcome to Luxify, we talk about fashion, luxury, and basically all the best things life has to offer. Welcome to our video about the most amazing bags from Paris Fashion Week Spring Summer 2025. During Fashion Week, the most amazing French brands showcase their new collections and for next season you can expect the absolute best. Here you will see the best bags for Spring Summer 2025 from brands like Chanel and Louis Vuitton. I'm sure you will love them. So, without further ado, here are the most amazing bags from Paris Fashion Week Spring Summer 2025. If you are new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and check out my new website, luxfy.com. Dior For her Spring Summer collection, Maria Grazia Ciuri was inspired by strong women. Her muses varied from Diana the Huntress to Wonder Woman to competitive archer Sag Napoli, who was at the show shooting arrows. Blending strong warrior silhouettes with sportswear, Chiuri showed you can be strong and feminine at the same time. From dresses to coats and one-piece swimming suits, this is a cohesive collection that comes on the heels of the Paris Olympic Games, where you could see women warriors in all their glory. The sporty theme continues onto the bags. Sacks in nylon and leather were showed in many different sizes. A new cargo bowling bag also made the rounds, all nailing the sporty chic aesthetic of the collection. The Lady Dior and the saddle were of course present, bringing classic Dior into the spotlight. But the most exciting piece is the revival of the beloved 2000s style, the Dior Columbus bag, which is bound to be super popular next spring. Chloe For her second collection for the brand, designer Kemena Kamali continues to tap into the boho chic style of the old Chloe. Built on the designer's understanding of Chloe's history, this collection was an evolution of last season. There were jeans, bathing suits, and, of course, a lot of ruffles. The Chloe camera bag was showed once more in many sizes and colors. There were many seashell-inspired bags that exude the spirit of spring-summer. And the brand's banana bag, also showed last season, is back again in many fun new iterations. I love this new Chloe, it takes me back to the Karl Lagerfeld era but without losing its modernity. This was an amazing boho chic collection of the brand. Loewe For his spring-summer collection, which happened to mark his 10th year with the brand, Jonathan Anderson played with optical illusions, pop culture and surrealism, but all with incredible attention to craft. From trapeze mini dresses to floral gowns and jeans and t-shirts, the collection was about freedom and movement. With not a heel in sight, the models wore oxfords and sneakers, striping out the fussiness, as the designer said. The classic Loewe puzzle bag returns to the runaway this season in iterations made in soft leather with a dangling leather tag. Named after the brand's home city, the new Madrid bag was introduced, it can be worn as a shoulder or crossbody bag. The flamenco clutch is also back, this time with a gold chain strap. This collection was exactly what we expect from Anderson, some fun unique pieces done with the iconic craftsmanship of the brand. Hermès for her spring-summer collection designer, Nadej Van Hey showed what the Hermes women will want to wear once the weather gets warm. What I want to convey as the message is the idea of an assertive sensuality, the designer said. You know, it's about the summer, a feel-good summer, and, really, this relationship you have with your skin. The collection showed a mix of see-through mesh fabrics and the iconic Hermes leather in dresses, skirts and coats. As for the bags, the collection showcases a fusion of heritage and modernity. The Birkin à l'envers, meaning upside-down Birkin, reimagines the beloved classic with a contemporary edge, as Purse Bop called it. 
a new bag reminiscent of Hermes historic Derby travel bag from 1926 was introduced in many colors and sizes. The brand also showed summer bags inspired by classic basket bags but with a Hermes twist, of course. Other classics of the brand like the Picotine, the Plume, and the Kelly were also showcased in the collection. This collection presented so many beautiful bags, I cannot help but get excited for next season. If you are enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to my channel, so we can continue to bring you the best content about fashion and luxury living. Valentino Alessandro Michele, former Gucci designer, debuted his first show for Valentino, bringing his more is more style to the brand. Bringing his eccentricity and maximalism from Gucci and combining it with a femininity that could only be Valentino, the designer was inspired by the house archives. He was specially inspired by a doll look that came from the 60s and 70s and an 80s power suit. The playfulness and more is more style of the collection continues in the bags that were often adorned with tassels and embroideries. The classic V logo appeared in a range of bags, bringing some classic Valentino into the collection. There were some 70s-inspired suede bags that were often paired with other bags, proving the double bag trend is alive and well. This collection was praised by fashion critics, but I have to say it is not my cup of tea. I miss the old, elegant Valentino. Chanel the spring-summer collection was designed by Chanel's creative studio, since the role of creative director is currently unoccupied. The collection was showed at the Grand Palais, and the creative studio was inspired by the iconic location. It was light and airy, with tweed suits, evening gowns, and cohort sets. The color palette was fun, playful, and light. Overall, it was classic Chanel with some updated silhouettes. A large top handle bag made the rounds on the model's arms, adding some casualness to the collection. Some tote bags and backpacks also were presented, as well as some messenger bags. Many flap bags were showed in different colors and materials, and some with a ruched top. Bags made in mesh will be super popular next summer, and a bird cage bag was a standout piece in the collection. This was a solid and cohesive collection from the brand as it waits its next designer, and I have to admit I cannot wait to see in which direction Chanel goes next. Miu Miu For her spring-summer 25 collection, Miu Chia Prada investigates the experience of vanity. She worked with female artists to analyze how women see themselves through their own gaze, she was inspired by youth and by how one might dress without any outside influence or prejudice. School uniforms and simple cotton dresses invite the Miu Miu woman to play with fashion as a child would. As for the bags, we saw the current Miu Miu icons as well as a new bag. The Adventure bag is back in many colors and sizes. There was even a shoulder version of the style. The Arcadie, a current favorite of Miu Miu fans, was showed updated with white top handles and a white border. The Wonder Bag was showed in many different sizes and colors, as was the Joy Bag. The new bag is a flap style bag presented in many sizes and with a shoulder strap. Miu Miu continues to show us strong collections that are exactly what the fans of the brand are looking to buy. Louis Vuitton For spring-summer, 25 designer Nicolas Gesquier took us all the way back to the Renaissance. The silhouettes with their puffed sleeves, small waists, and peplum hems took us back to past, but they were all presented with modern elements and construction. The designer also focused on making coats as light as possible, making them more suitable for the warmer seasons. As for the bags, the designer presented some house classics with a twist. The twist bag was showed in many iterations, adorned with fringes, and some classic bags of the brand were adorned with chain straps. Bags like the Speedy and the Neverfull were showed in exotic leathers, 
as well as in the classic LV monogram with chain straps. A new style reminiscent of doctor's bags was showed in many different colors and sizes. The Petit Mal handbag was showed in many incredibly beautiful iterations inspired by Renaissance paintings. Gesquier said he wanted to create a generational bag, an everyday style to be worn by women of all ages and tastes. The result was this duffel style bag showed in many iterations. Overall, this was another stunning collection from the designer. It was cohesive, fun, and I loved it. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Comment below which brands you would like to know more about. And make sure to check out my video about the most amazing bags from Milan Fashion Week Spring Summer 2025. Thank you for spending some time with us and make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. In return, we'll provide you the best content about fashion, travel and luxury living. See you soon.